Hello, in this video I'll show you how to create course content such as quiz, assignment, lecture, and test. Let's begin. On the sidebar, click on the course drop down menu and select course content. Select the course that you want to add in content. I'm going to choose English Level 1 course. Click Edit Course Content and create your first section. And in the title, I'll title it Overview. Click the Add Section button. Click on the Open Section button to expand it. Click on the plus sign to add in your content. First, let me add in a lecture. Type in the title. I'll title this as Introduction. Add your description. This is optional but you can just type in or copy and paste your description here. Then proceed to adding content. Select what type of content you want. I'll add in a YouTube video. Just paste in the URL here. Add in the time of your video. Next you can add a resource. Just select the type. I'll add in link. And you can add more if you want. Here in Manage Student Action, you can choose to disable your students' comments, likes, and show comment after approval, however you want it. And when that's done, just save changes. You can add more lectures if you want. Just repeat the process and tap on the plus sign button, like this. Now let's add a quiz. We can add it here on your first section, or you can make this quiz as a section itself. Let me make it as a section. Add in your title. Click the Add Section button. Expand it and click the plus sign. Type in the title and edit your quiz. And you'll be directed to a page wherein you can add your quiz content. For basic info, add your quiz description. And below, add the time of the quiz. If you don't want a timer, just type in minus 1. But if you want to add a timer, you can type in the number or use the side buttons. Let me put in 60 minutes for this quiz. And again, you can allow downloading of the certificate of completion after the quiz. You can further manage that on Manage Certificates tab. So let's save changes here. Now we move on to the questions. Select your question type. We have here only one answer to choose or multiple answers to choose. Let me select one answer. Then enter your question. And below, enter the choices. You can add more choices. Just select Add Options. And if you want to delete it, click the Delete button on the side. Then select the correct answer. And click Add. And this is how it would look like. You can add in more questions. Let me add in multiple answers to choose. Add in the question and the choices. Then select the right answer, just like this. Now let's go to the settings. Again right here you can choose whether to enable the settings, the comments, likes, comments after approval, certificate of after you've checked the quiz, and if you want your students to play this quiz many times, or if you want to delay the results, enter in the delay days here. All of these are up to you. Just tap on the button to enable it. Below are the results percentage and comments. If for example they only got 0 to 39%, this will show up saying they must study harder. Or if they got for example 100%, they will see this comment. You can add in more comments just by clicking add more and type in the comment that you want. If you wish to delete it, just click the delete button on the side. After that's done, don't forget to save changes and your quiz is all set up. Now hit go back to be redirected back to your course content. Now on the next content, let's add in an assignment. Just like the previous one, add in a new section. Put your title and add this section. Expand this section and add your assignment content. Add in your questions and answer too. After that, head on to instruction. If you have any instructions for your students, just add it here. You can also add video instructions or resources. Here at solutions section, you can also add in a media file. 
if you have them here. Or just paste in the URL that you want for solutions. Same goes for the resource section. And again here on your settings, you can enable the actions from your students. You can also allow them to submit a file. Just edit the file size or extensions like PNG, JPG, JPEG, or anything you want. And below are the outcome results comments of their assignment. And don't forget to save your changes. Now going back to our course content, let's add in the last one, a test. So add in your test section. Type in your title and edit the content, just like the previous ones we did. Add in your test questions and answers. Also edit the instructions. And settings. And after that, save changes and you're all done. And this is how easy it is to add contents for your course. To see your course content, on the top right corner, click on More. Select Preview. And this is how your students will see your course content you have made. And that is it for today's video. I hope you find it helpful. As always, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.